The 50-50 weight distribution mantra from BMW has more recently been replaced by this term of efficient dynamics. We're trying to find if this BMW 5 Series 20, 520 diesel is efficiently dynamic. And it's not simply limited to battery regeneration and stop-start control. There are other subtleties, for example, behind this kidney grill here, there are vents which, as you can see, remain closed, and they'll remain closed until the engine is warm enough. Other examples, such as a steering wheel, which is electrically operated, which will only use energy when it is operated. Incredibly, this car costs £110 of tax per year. The emissions, the CO2 emissions, are less than an Audi A6 2.0-litre TDI and also the E220 CDI from Mercedes. This will achieve a 0 to 62 time better than the Audi and the Mercedes, and it's also more powerful as well. This 520 diesel touring also exemplifies the design by Adrian von Hoydank, who replaced Chris Bangle. Now, Bangle's designs were synonymous with brash, the flame design, and they were successful. But I think this car is really timed, well suited, with the economy slowing down with austerity measures. It is subtle, but it is also elegant as well. Nice flat surface for storage, another lack of protrusion from the rear wheel arches here. In 2007 I drove a 520 diesel saloon. I achieved 600 miles on a tank of 70 litres of fuel. BMW say this 2 litre diesel will do 850 miles on the same 70 litres of fuel. The previous 520 diesel that I drove in 2007 was a saloon and I remember the engine because it was a little bit hesitant in first gear and it was basically the power for the body of the car. This one is far from it, although this one is a heavier car with it being a Touring. Now my criticisms of the 520 diesel are really the same as in the previous one that I drove in 2007, there's no wear that you can put your card key, there's no actual slot, so I'm just putting it in the cup holders here, which are for cups. And the boots, release button somewhere right down the footwell is, is too far away, it's quite a stretch. I mean this is car this is a car that's like, you know, it's fuel efficient but it's also pretty damn cool as well. Yeah. yeah there's a lot of uh, credibility with BMW.